Welcome to Casual Cards, my name's Ben, and today we're doing something a little special. Um, something I really haven't done before ever, because I've always been kind of afraid to do. Um, but if you've seen the uh, title and a lot, you'll probably know what it is. So today, we're opening up a Pokemon Mystery Box. Uh, it's a little big, so I'm going to do my best to get it in camera. Best way to show it probably is to just do the, uh, the face cam here. Nope, wrong way. To there. Look at it. It's huge. Big box. It won't quite fit too well underneath this one, but <laughs> we're, we're gonna do our best. Um, so this box was two hundred dollars from a uh, well, a website called PokemonPlug.com. Um, hopefully they're. Uh, on the up and up, you know, I, I don't know. I don't normally do my mystery boxes because you don't know what you're gonna get. Now 200 bucks sounds like a lot of money, but they range from $25 to I think $2,000 for the super high end one. So we, we went for like the middle road here to see what they're all about. Um, if this is a decent mystery box, I might do some more in the future. So it's kind of like a trial run. And you, uh, you guys can see as well, like, you know, what maybe you can expect obviously it's a mystery box you don't know what's going to be in it outside of it being pokemon related i hope so this weighs about 10 pounds pretty pretty heavy um i'm just gonna get into it now and do my best to show you what's in it um you're gonna have to take my word for it as if you can't see the box on your side too well um we're gonna essentially see if we get at least 200 bucks worth of uh stuff <laughs> products so I'll do my best to put the current market price of whatever items are in here as I pull them out and then at the end we'll go over them to see if uh, we actually managed to make some money or if we lost some money or broke even all right I've almost got the box open here now I'm gonna kind of pull them out one at a time so I'm not even gonna see them myself kind of awkward but now let's see. Okay, some packing paper. Gotta love that. We have a thank you note. Cool. <laughs> Alright, let's see. First item is a kind of like a squishy envelope. I think we'll open that last. This seems pretty well padded. Um this is a large box here. Okay, we have a Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer Box. That's not bad, that's uh, 40 bucks. These just got reprinted, so these used to be a lot more valuable like a year ago when they ran out. <laughs> so, not a bad start. Uh, sealed products are always good. Let's see what we got here. Just reaching around. There's a decent amount of stuff in here. Uh, we have... Well, look at that. We have a 2022 calendar. Kind of hard to see because my camera is terrible at focusing. Um, I think these are one of these stickers. Not sure. Definitely, uh, it feels like a sticker. It might be. Either way, kind of cool. So there you go. Full year. Hard to see. <laughs> All right, hopefully we got more sealed products in here. Um, feels like a collection box. Oh, there's another Elite Trainer box. We have Shining Fates, always good. Can't complain there. These run, uh, you know, 50, 60 bucks, something like that. So we're uh, close to about 100 bucks there just from these two. And then we have yeah, this feels like a smaller collection box. Okay. We have this Pikachu V box, which is what I just opened up on the channel recently. That's uh, 20 bucks right there. Let's see what else we got. There is more. <laughs> I have to make some room, actually. Let's see here. Definitely feels like another collection box. It is. Okay. <laughs> Well, we have another Lucario V-Star box, which, again, I just opened up, so we're probably going to leave these sealed, because I don't have these sealed. But this one's, uh, 40, I think it is. 
So we're at about 150, 160 in value. We're actually pretty close. And that may be it. Let's see. Yes, that is in... The box is empty. Um, see if you can see it in there. Just to prove, you know, nothing, nothing hidden. There you go. <laughs> All right, large box out of the way. Now we still have that little sealed um, package. All these trainer boxes are always nice. I might open one of these two in the video as well. We'll see. But we do have this little uh, little package here, so let's see what's in this one. We're looking for, you know, 40 maybe $50 worth of stuff. Let's see. Feels like s possibly single cards. Sing singles. What we got here? Oh, we got a pack. Brilliant stars. There we go. That's very nice. So loose packs. Um, we have a McDonald's four card pack. Come on, camera. You can do it. Interesting. Yeah, McDonald's. Cool. Those were hard to get a hold of. And we have a Sword and Shield base set pack. Anyway. <laughs> This is kind of cool, I like this. A bunch of random loose packs. Darkness of Blaze, okay, sure, we'll take those. Ooh, Cosmic Eclipse, now we're talking. These are, you know, 10, 12 bucks each. Uh, we'll, we'll see if we're there. We're actually, I think we're, we're, we're getting pretty close. Fusion Strike, not the best set, but you know, it's a pack. Um, another Fusion Strike, bolt in again. Is that it? Nope, one left. A Rebel Clash Pack. There we go. Totally not in focus. <laughs> Anybody else? Nope, that is it. Well, that was kind of cool. Yeah, little, um... Collection pack. So, we were at like 140 or 150, we'll say. So, we're at, you know, 154... This is, I don't even know what... These are maybe 5 bucks each, we'll say. 160... 164... 168, 178, 182, 184, maybe 189? We could be generous and say like 190-ish. These actually might be more, I'm not sure. I've only, actually I've never even opened one of these before. So, um, we also had this little, you know, cool calendar. This was probably a couple bucks, maybe. So yeah, we we can say we're probably we're probably at about two hundred bucks, um, give or take. I won't like, you know, be exact here, but I would say this is a pretty decent value. I don't know if they're all like this, but um, not bad. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll put the price up now just to see if we get we came close for, for the current market value. Obviously, it'll it'll fluctuate. The you know sealed products will be up and down depending on when. This was released, filmed, all that good stuff. So, what to say we open these loose packs? I think I'll keep the Vivid Voltage sealed, because I've opened up a lot of these, and I just want to keep one sealed. <laughs> May do the Shining Fates, too, we'll see. Um, we'll save these for last. Actually, let me get my camera lower so we can um, get a better view of the packs. Okay, that's better. <laughs> I always like to get in better focus here. All right, well, we'll just start with the fusion strikes, fusion strike packs, I guess. Um, these might be the least exciting, unless we pull something good out of these, and who knows? I'm gonna hope these aren't uh, weighed. You never know. A good card for you guys. Yeah, so this might give you a good idea of uh, what a mystery box will look like. I know they have to make money as well, so they can't just give you a bunch of free stuff, but I think this is pretty solid. It came close, at least, if not on on the dot there. Onyx, Claydol, Cloyster. Nothing there yet. Just let me uh, move these over here. Get my stuff all squared away. 
We'll do the other one. The Cosmic Eclipse pretty sad, I gotta say. That was a nice surprise with all the uh, loose packs. Like a mystery pack and a mystery pack and a mystery pack. <laughs> That's what the, uh, you know, booster packs are. These were hidden. Okay, let's go a little lower. A little bit lower. There we go. Rebecca, Phalanx, Growlithe, Indeedee. We got a Slugma, and we got a Hollow Starmie. Okay. We'll take a Hollow. Nothing too crazy. We'll do the Rumble Clash next. Still actually haven't opened a crazy amount of these packs. I know this wasn't the most exciting set ever, but... There's still some cool stuff in it, though. Alright. Pokeball, Pelipper, Speed Energy. Trubbish, Helioptile, Hone Edge, Litwick, Corsola, Phantump, and a Double. Okay. We got an Ultra Rare. The Fluffy Goat. And he hits a good hit. <laughs> Especially out of these. Alright, let's do. Uh, yeah, Darkness of Blaze. Why not? We'll just make our way down through the pack. There you go. How about a Charizard? Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> Poltergeist, Combuskin, we got a Squovit, Fat Squirrel, Shelmet, Painpore, Teddy Ursa, Rickety, a Bound Sweet, and ooh, nice! Scizor V. Two Ultra Rares. I love me some Scizor. Really cool Pokemon. Scyther's always cool too, but yeah, Scizor was definitely one of the cooler ones. Nice. Two Ultra Rares. <laughs> Let's do Sword and Shield base set. Wouldn't mind uh, any of the Sword and Shield dogs or Full Art Marnie, something like that. Rainbow Snorlax would be cool. Air Balloon, Palpad, Kingler, got a Ball Toy, Wulu, Joltik, Salandit, Clavapus, Palpad, got a Bolton Hollow though. Okay. Not bad, not bad. We'll take Hollows. Alright. Brilliant Stars. Good set. Yep, oh, still looking for them Charizards. Most of them. <laughs> All the good ones. Only pull, pulled the V and the V star, so. The other three would be nice. The Brava, Magmar, Corfish, Sneasel, Duskull, Purloin, a Burmy, and a Dracovish V. Or Dracovish. Not a crazy ultra rare, but again, it's an ultra rare. We're. We're actually doing pretty good here. Three Ultra Rares. Boom. Alright, we'll save the Cosmic Clips for last. We'll do this one random McDonald's one. Well, I guess the hollow's up front. <laughs> Looks like we got Snivy. That's kind of cool. So yeah, this was part of the uh, 25th anniversary celebrations thing. So this set only has, looks like, 25 cards. 5 of 25. So Snivy, oh we got a Bulbasaur, that's cool. A Chespin, and a Chimchar. I will definitely want to sleeve up the Snivy though. Really cool looking pattern on these. Very unique. Cool. Okay, we'll put those aside up there. Um, and now, the, the big one. <laughs> Cosmic Eclipse. Yeah, let's see what we got. Good card for you. This set has not been good to me. <laughs> I've opened a lot of packs and has have not got a lot of good things. Which is kind of a bummer, but I think that's kind of the usual 
most people experience with uh, Cosmic Eclipse. Lily's Poke Doll and a Crab Abominable. Yep. Nothing out of there. Okay. Well. You know what? Fine. We'll squeeze out some Shining Fates. Why not? It's a good set. Free Ultra Rares are good and all that, but we can do better. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hopefully there's ten in there. Looks like I dipped. I think I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. Go ahead and pack it here. Nope. There was. That's about the say. That's a bummer. All right. Of course, the promo, the EVV Max, and we'll throw a code card. Whoa, easy. Code card for you guys. All right. Let's see if we can't get that Charizard here. Gonna be bummed out if we were missing a pack. <laughs> it's like, oh man, come on. <laughs> what are the odds? All right, one, two, three, four. We're looking for shinies. All the shinies. Team Yell Towel, Thwacky, Tropius, Morpeko, Horsey, Weasel, Yanma, Trapinch. There we go. Galarian Zigzagoon shiny. Good start. Any boss's orders. We will take the shinies. Boom. Definitely want that Charizard though. Yeah, I think um, I think this is a pretty solid box. I think I'll do more in the future. Might even step it up and buy a, a bigger one. As long as they give you close to the amount you paid, I think that's that's not bad. Pretty cool even. It saves you the work too of buying the uh, individual products. I just Give them tea in a big old blob. Glaring wheezing and a NDD. Okay. Alright. Hollow. Hollows aren't guaranteed either in this set, so let's take those. There we go. Well, let me know what you guys think down there in the comments. What was your um, favorite item out of this box? And also, do you think it's worth it? Let me know what you think. Beko, Spinarak, Weasel, Clobopus, Shiny. There we go. Something buying to do, huh? Gym Trainer, Full Art. This is a double banger pack. It's looking good so far. I believe I need a Gym Trainer, I think. Hopefully. And hopefully I didn't have uh, <laughs> Clobopus either. Anyway, yeah, he's so happy. He's a very happy octopus. Well, we're doing good so far. Two packs in, two shinies, and a full art, and a hollow. Got a hit in every pack so far. Okay, let's see if we can't keep it up. Cramorant, Rotom, Rusted Sword, Kufant, Eevee, Weasel, Yanma, Trapinch, Floatzel. That's gonna be first non hollow. Cool rare though. Definitely haven't opened up Shining Fates in a while, so. Nice surprise. I will take Shining Fates, because there's still plenty of plenty of shinies that uh, I do not have out of the set. Including the Charizard. Maybe we'll get one of these years. <laughs> Probably opened 200 packs already this set. Weasel, Spinarak, Shinx. Coughing, 
boss's orders, and a more Picov, another ultra rare. Nice. Very, very nice. Decent box. It is a bummer these uh the collection boxes just happen to be the, the exact same ones I just opened. I realize they're new, and that's probably why they put them in the box. Because they were, you know. They were new, they're pretty cost effective for them. Makes sense. Oop, Eevee. More Peko. Boizel. Nicket. Cacnea. Kyogre. I forgot amazing rays run here. That's cool. And a Manaphy. Be cool if they make some more of these. They only had them in two sets. <laughs> Both sets happen to be in this box. Is that a Kawinky Dink? Probably. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe they, uh. Like, you know what? We'll just throw them both in there. Amazing rares for an amazing box. Yeah, there, was, there wasn't, you know, a lot of stuff in there. I mean, it was as far as, like, amount of products. Was it two collection boxes, two elite trainer boxes, and then, like, a little, um, stack of packs? Oh, and the little calendar thing. Which is weird, but... We won't really include that. We're after the cards here. Looks very cool, though. I love the art on that one. But, the quality of the products, pretty good. Trying to justify it. Don't, don't make me influence you, or don't don't let me influence you. <laughs> if you don't think it's worth it, so be it. Jinx, Relet. Oh, there we go. Another shiny Dracovish. And hey, Dredna, everyone's favorite knockoff Blastoise. So we're looking at three shinies so far. It's about average. Still got two packs left. See if we can't get one more good card out of here. One more shiny would be nice. Maybe a Charizard. Eh? Rotom, Eldegoss, Tropius, Nicket, Cacnea, Kufant, Eevee, Weasel, Rillaboom, and a Celebi again. Huh. Alright. Last pack of the video. Can we get some last pack magic? Knowing my luck, probably not, but... We gotta hope. We gotta hope. There we go. Can we get something good? Ugh. Itchy. Eldegoss, Luxio. We got a Rallet. Trap Inch, Weasel, Coughing, Shinx, Boss's Orders, and the last card out of the last pack is. <laughs> more Peko. <laughs> well, two more Pecos, same box. What are the odds? I'd say not high, but, um,. That was a solid little box, though. We got one full art trainer, and we got two ultra rares, two of these, right? One amazing rare, and then three shinies, so. Yeah. And the loose packs are pretty good, too. Honestly, we got. What was that, seven packs? And we got, um. Three ultra rares? We just, I mean, there's these, but we're, we're, we're cool there. And then the, uh, you know, the McDonald's card. Not a promo, but, you know, card. So. That's all we'll open from this box, guys. Um, let me know what you think down below. Did you think the value was, the 200 bucks was worth the box? Was it enough? Was it about on point? Maybe a little extra? Again, I'll try to put the uh, the price before of what the current market price total was for all the items included, so. Yeah, let me know what you think. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys. Take it easy.